أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Writing research contributions A step-by-step -step approach with practical example Now in this session we are going to take a more step-by-step -step approach on how to write a research contributions Rather you will write with me and I'll try to guide as to what are the steps on how to write the practical contributions or how to write the research contributions for a study. Now this is a sample framework for which we are going to write our research contributions. Our independent variable is servant leadership, our dependent variable is life satisfaction and our mediator is career commitment. Now before we go on to writing our research contributions, the ingredients for research contributions actually are your research gaps. Now what are the gaps that you have identified for your study? Now have a look here. There are a number of gaps that were identified pertinent to that particular framework which I earlier presented. This one. Now these are the gaps based on which this particular framework is presented. So each gap obviously uh, has a reference or you have to explain why this is a gap or why it is important to study this particular relationship. So moving on, once you have I clearly identified your gaps, the next step is where do I start writing my contributions? Normally the contributions are written at the end of your introduction. So once you have identified the gaps in existing research, you start writing your contributions. So how do you start writing that paragraph or paragraph or two of the contributions? So where do you start? The first thing is when starting to write the research contribution, a scholar or a research scholar should start with the following sentence. The sentence may change, but this is just an example. The present study attempts to address multiple gaps and in doing so makes important contribution. So those are the gaps that this study is addressing. And while addressing these gaps, you are making these contributions. So this is the first line that you may write. Next, you have to identify or write your con contributions in the form of numbers like first, second, third, fourth, fifth, so on and so forth. I recommend there should be at least at least two to three contributions. So it's always recommended to number your contributions as first, second, third and so on. Based on your identified gaps, following research contributions are identified. Now in this case, the gaps that we earlier identified, following gaps or following contributions are identified. Now in this case, the first contribution is based on the relationship between independent and dependent variable. So how do I write this? First, the study extends the limited research on understanding of servant leadership and its impact on life satisfaction. Our study is one of the first to consider servant leadership as an important antecedent of life satisfaction. So this is your first contribution. Now if you look at the contribution, this is actually based on the gap that I earlier identified. So you are writing your contributions based on the gaps that you have earlier identified. Next, since the study has a mediating variable, the second contribution highlights the mediating variable but also further explains that the study will add to the literature by explaining the mechanism through which servant leadership impacts life satisfaction. Now it's not just enough that you say that okay my study has a mediating variable. Now what's the role of mediating variable? This is your contribution. So existing research or the gaps have identified that, the, okay, yes, mediating variable should be studied. So what is your contributions or what are your contributions through identification of those mediating variable? So how do you write that? Second, you assess or assess the mediating role of career commitment between servant leadership and life satisfaction. So thereby, what you are doing is you are explaining the mechanism through which servant leadership can influence life satisfaction. So this is your contribution to explain the mechanism of impact. Next, 
if the scholar is testing a relationship that hasn't been tested before, to the best of author's knowledge and through search in peer-reviewed databases. Following example may be used to present other research contributions. Now, for example, there is a relationship that you are studying for the first time and hasn't been studied before, to the best of your knowledge. How do you write that? Third, no previous study to the best of author's knowledge and through search in peer-reviewed databases. So you have to make sure that, yes, I did search everything that was possible. And then you mention this in your contribution as well. As empirically explored the effects of servant leadership on these two work outcomes in an academic setting. So the impact of servant leadership on career commitment and life satisfaction hasn't been tested before. Although there has been research on servant leadership and employee satisfaction with life in settings other than higher education. But there is very limited research or although maybe no research on linking servant leadership with life satisfaction in higher education. So you're not, you are not just assessing relationships that are new. You are studying a new context as well. Now, rather than just adding this, it's also important to assess why these relationships should be studied. And normally, this is done when you are addressing or when you are identifying your gaps. Now, if a research is done in a new setting, where there is very limited research, the scholar may formulate the research contribution as Fourth, existing research on servant leadership, career commitment and life satisfaction has primarily focused on settings other than higher education. This is one of the earlier studies to assess servant leadership and its impact on employee work related outcomes in higher education institutions. Now this is how you write your contribution. Your first contribution, your second contribution, your third contribution and your fourth contribution. So once you know your gaps and once you know the relationships that you are assessing, the newness or originality of your relationships, the newness of your context, this is how you write your contributions. And most importantly, how you add the theoretical lens and contribution to the theory. So once you have identified the originality of relationships, you need to identify how are you going to contribute to the theory. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to mention the theory that you are going to use in your study. So when the scholar is adding the contribution to the theory, it must start with the identification of the theory utilized in the study. The scholar may do it as, so this is an example write-up that you can use to introduce your theory in your contributions. The theoretical lens for the study is leader member exchange theory that supports the explanation of proposed relationship of servant leadership with career and life satisfaction. Well, this should have been career commitment and life satisfaction. Now next briefly explain the theory. So once you have identified the theory like this, the next step is to explain the theory. Once the theory used is clearly identified, the next step is to briefly explain what the theory means. So after identification of the theory, this is how you write about the theory. Just give a brief explanation as to what it means because this will give your reader a clear idea as to what the theory means. And then following this, once you have briefly identified or defined the theory, next is you need to link the theory with your variables. Now, how do you do this? The final step is to link the theory with the variables in the study in terms of originality and how contribution is made to the theory through the linkage between variables. So once you have identified the theory or presented the theory, once you have defined the theory as to what it means, you will obviously find it in your existing research or previous research papers. Now, how do you link it? Hence, based on leader member exchange theory, this study or the study intends to ascertain the importance of servant leadership in shaping career and life satisfaction. So how or this theory will help you or will help explain how servant leadership shapes career commitment and life satisfaction. The study would add to the theoretical development. Now these are the statements that we write. Because we are explaining the relationships in light of the theory. So these are the statements or particular statement that we may write. The study would add to the theoretical development 
by integrating leader member exchange theory with servant leadership and how it fosters career commitment and life satisfaction. So what you are doing is you are actually integrating leader member exchange theory with servant leadership and then how servant leadership fosters career commitment and life satisfaction. So to explain the interrelationship between these three variables, what you are doing is you are using leader member exchange theory. So this is how you write how you are contributing to the theory by adding more variables to the theory and explaining the relationship in light of these theory or rather this theory. Now what I have done is I have used the text here, these, these text in bold, this all this text in bold from step 1, step 2 and step 3 and I have presented it as a whole here. So if you look here, it's the same text, first, second, third, fourth and then finally based on leader member exchange theory, this is study essence. So what are you doing with the theory? What are you contributing towards the theory? You are using this theory to explain these relationships. And what you are doing is you are adding to the theory by using that theory to explain a new relationship that may not have been explained using this particular theory. So this is how you are expanding the bounds of the theory. Now moving on, what if there are multiple relationships and multiple theories in your study. How do you write the contribution to the theory in that particular case? So a scholar may utilize more than one theory in research paper or thesis. Now in such scenario, contributions or contribution is made by two theories. The following description will help researchers identify how to present contributions when multiple theories are utilized. First, here is our sample framework. In this case, the two uh, theories that we are going to use are LMX theory and self-efficacy theory. So self-efficacy is explaining the relationship here and LMX here, the top one. Now moving on, how do you write it? First, obviously you have to mention the theories. So here are the two theories that we are you going to use to explain the interrelationship between the variables in our study. Next, as was done in previous example in the framework with one theory, you have to explain both the theories. This is how you explain leader member exchange theory and this is how you explain the self-efficacy theory. So it's the same thing, same process as we have done before. Now how do you write it? Finally you have to link the variables. How do you write it? How do you explain the contribution to the theory? So the present study integrates two theoretical frameworks. So what you are doing is you are integrating the two theories. And the current study extends the research concerning servant leadership and employee related outcomes. These are the employee related outcomes. By investigating the distinct mechanisms of career commitment and self-efficacy by integrating LMX theory and self-efficacy theory. So what you are doing is you are explaining the mechanisms through which servant leadership impacts life satisfaction and these are your mediating variables. So what you are doing is you are explaining the mechanism of impact of IV which is your servant leadership on DV which is your life satisfaction by integrating these two theories with these variables or these mediating variables. So by integrating the distinct mechanisms what you are doing is you are adding to the theoretical development by integrating leader member exchange theory and self-efficacy theory with servant leadership and how it fosters career commitment self-efficacy and life satisfaction. So how are you doing or what are you doing for theoretical development? So what you are doing is you are integrating LMX theory and self-efficacy theory with these particular variables in your study. So this is how you write when you've got more than one theory. Uh, here is a typo. So it should be one theory, more than one theory. So what if there are more than two theories? The same process will be utilized. So, if you've got more than one theory being used in your research, this is how you write your theoretical contributions. And where do you write it? Here, just before your literature review and hypothesis development section, you write your research contributions. A paragraph or two on your research contribution goes into your introduction. So, this should have been one. Here's the correction. Now, I hope this session would have helped you understand how to write theoretical contributions or 
other theoretical contributions, not just contribution to the theory, but contribution to the literature in terms of new relationships or new mechanisms uh, being conducted through your study. Thank you very much.